What's going on everybody? Scouts 11 here and this is Disney Infinity Cars Edition. I started on a Pirates playthrough actually and I got five videos into that and then I read a comment. Coffee Addict 5 I believe said that he asked his two year old which one he'd like to see next and he said Cars. So I'm going to start doing some of the Cars one too. I may post them side by side not one whole one at a time because the Pirates one's a lot of fun and I want to do that one as well. So I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet but I don't want to let down Coffee Addict's little two-year-old. I have a two-year-old myself, so that's pretty cool. I like people saying, well, you know, what they want to see next. I appreciate it, and it's cool that they're watching. So we'll start with cars here. So I got um, Lightning McQueen on the pad to start with. Um, there's also Francesco, the Italian race car, um, Holly, and Mater. For this set i also have a lightning mcqueen crystal edition which is from toys r us it's a limited edition toys r us one which i'll probably end up putting on there eventually too welcome back to radiator springs my friend i will meet you at flows oh, i have so much to tell you Okay, so hold R for gas. B to jump. You can jump with a car. That's pretty cool. I have the double economy boost on my guy, the power discs. If you stack two, you can put two power discs on your character. They give, you know, more, better, um, higher attack, better defense, things like that. They also have the one called pieces of eight, which give you more uh, experience, a chance for more experience sparks and money I believe so I'm trying to level my guys up the highest level you can get to is 15 I believe that was terrible so um, I'm trying to get my guys up to level 15 so I'm gonna probably stack the experience ones for a long time until I get that let's see if I can get this there we go top hat nice so you can hit L also to flip your car like so so this car one's kind of cool because you don't really have to spend time when you break things, as you see, to let it actually get to your character like you do with, the, with everybody who walks. Since you're a car, you just drive through them and they automatically, you automatically get them. So that's pretty sweet. So here's Radiator Springs, but not quite. It looks like we have to help build some of it. So let's head over. Hey, you're here. Welcome home, amigos. Ah, it's good to see you too, fellas. Say, you remember my girlfriend Holly, right? <laughs> She's here for our date. Tom. Oh, man, I'd love to hang out, but I gotta go meet Flo at the farm for a picnic. <laughs> Don't wanna keep the girl waiting. Luigi has been working on a new race track for our town, but I needed your help to keep everything on schedule. Here is a GPS compass. It will be your guide. Just follow the arrow, and you will know where to go. If you want, you can have more than one mission open at a time. The mission log will help you keep track of them. From here, you can get to both the mission log and the toy store. Open the mission log. This shows all the missions you've accepted and lets you activate a particular mission. Great! Alright, so basically you can let it, you know, basically help you get where you need to go. So, we gotta go over here. Calibrate GPS, okay. This car moves pretty fast, man. I have played a bit of this playset, but just a little bit. I did unlock some of the chests. And throw the car you're towing to cover even more distance. Okay. So uh, some of these chests are unlocked, like this one here. I unlocked just maters. You have to have the mater character to actually unlock it. So I've done a few, uh, quite you know what I found. Not all of them, I don't think. Look at that guy up there. Ah, see, 
<laughs> this nice. Is much better. Hey, watch it. Wait, are you telling me this is Radiator Springs? Oh, what can I get you, sugar? How about start with some jumper cables? This place is putting me to sleep. Well, I guess if you're not gonna order anything, I suggest you keep rolling. Yeah, whatever. I'm out of here. What a jerk. I've actually only seen cars, I think, Can one I time. See what Chick wants so he can stop bothering my customers? And i never seen cars, too. So a lot of this is going to be new to me. Now, here's the vault, which I unlocked the last time I was messing around in here. Now, the vaults, you need one of each character to actually unlock it. Since I have all the characters, I was able to unlock it. You get a lot of a lot of unlocks in there. You also get some, uh, like a usually a play set area you can run around in that was made by you know the game makers. Another one. It's not missions. You can just kind of see what kind of stuff you can build in there. Okay, so let's see what we got quest-wise here. What do you want, buddy? I really want to stay in Radiator Springs, but my allergies are out of control. Can you break up some hay bales? Maybe that'll help. Sure. Where are the hay bales at? Allergies, that's pretty funny. Oh. Are you being towed? Do a trick or a 180 degree turn to break free. So any hay bells, I guess? Ooh, we got traffic coming out of that one. Whoa, these guys are hiding things. A red firestorm. Look at that. Thin wheels. I didn't break any of these when I was messing around in here uh, last time. I would have missed a whole bunch of stuff. The problem is, I'm not sure which ones. They're coming back too fast. I'm not sure which ones I did not get. Pretty sure I got all of them now. I'm just going to grab them real quick to see if there's any more red capsules hidden in them. Because those are red capsules I was getting, I'm pretty sure. It had to be. Okay, I think this is it here. Is it not down there? No. So I can tow a car when he gets close to me, like so. And then I can jump and... How do I get him off? Oh, okay. <laughs> if I wanted to. Any other quests in the immediate vicinity? Same guy again. What do you got to say now? I heard this place is awesome for doing stunts, but I've never tried. Can you do four air tricks? I know. Just show me how it's done. Okay, so... Spin. Barrel roll. Flip, backflip. That really wasn't much of a backflip, but it counted. There we go. You got another quest? This kid's got a lot of quests. All the cool cars are doing double tricks. Find a high place and show me how it's done. Three examples ought to do the trick. Oh man, I got time too. Okay, if you hit this, you can actually open up the buildings in different ways. I know that much. So this should give us enough room for a double trick. Nice. Alright, there's one, right? Did that not count? Usually it tells you like one out of three or something. Oh, I have to actually do what it says. Hold R up. Oh, it's a double trick. I get it. Hold R to the right. 
So it's the same trick twice. I was doing two different tricks. Oh, I didn't know. You, actually, I didn't know you can do two tricks by just holding it. That's actually a lot easier than trying to do like a front and a back. Oh yeah! Nice. I didn't let me. I only gave me three though, so I didn't do the side one. Let's do the other trick just to see how it looks twice. The 360. Sweet. Okay, so that kid's done asking us to do stuff. That's Flo, so you know she has a like a regular There's the stock car dude. Who are you? Who's you? I drove three hours to see my friend over there do some cave racing, but the roadway's jammed up with debris. You think you can clear it out for us? Sure, dude. Head over to Luigi's to customize the tires on the tourist cars. <laughs> Sorry. Baseball cap. Unlocked. And there's stuff all over the place to get. This isn't timed, so I might as well grab this stuff while I'm here. Oh, I... Can I go up to the hill? Alright. Whoa, there's one up there? Oh, maybe you gotta go from, there's like a, okay. Seemed like there was another road up on top. Maybe you have to go from the top. Oh yeah, another win for Lightning McQueen. And I'm just like plowing these little cars over. Yeah, see, there's a way. Maybe you gotta jump from there. I don't know how else you can get there. We got a sticker. These cars actually don't handle that bad once you play with it for a little bit. In the beginning, it's a little rough. But one of the reviews I read said the cars don't handle well, so it's not an enjoyable playset, but I don't find them to be that bad. I'm doing pretty good. Just gotta do a little practice. When I started playing this a little, you know, I messed around with it a little, like I said, it was a little hard. Oh, that's how you do it. Oh, dang it. It was a little tricky to get used to it right off the bat, but uh, you learn, just like any other game, how to handle. a bow. Okay, so where's the jump? Here it is. There we go. Blue flags. Oh, that was terrible. How am I supposed to get that? There we go. Flower quilt accent. Man, there's tons of stuff around here. Pizza Planet rocket. Spend some time checking out the area and grab some of these while we're doing it. It's a big canyon here. Looking thing. Shiny wood trim. Tin. Oh man, I went right over it. I love how the cars turn around like they're a skateboard or something. I have to do a skateboard on a half pipe. 
Oh, how? Come on, man. Really? Alright, obviously you can't cross it. You have to go up the... Oh, man. You know what? I could probably... What if I hold up? Do I end up going up here? Kinda. Yeah, see that rock doesn't seem like it should be able to get up there. There we go. Okay. There we go. Sandbag. Sandbag. Barricade. Oh. All right, red mailbox. Much of other they're just stuff everywhere. Red brick. All right, this one seems actually this one's more concentrated, I believe, because it's actually a little less. The pirates one that I'm playing now is a lot of fun. And there's a lot of areas actually that you uh, do. You go through, you go over the sea. This one is one big, basically one big play area. There's not other towns, I don't believe, or stuff, so they kind of have everything in here all in one spot. There's a couple tunnels you can go through to do different races and stuff, but other than that, it's kind of one big, gigantic area. One big map almost, with a few little places off to the side. Can I grind on that uh, rail? I guess I probably could, huh? Seems like I can't jump to get that. I probably have to grind this rail. Or not. I gotta be, I bet anything I can grind that rail. So know how to do it. There we go. Gold piston cup, nice. All right, let's get some more quests going here. I'm just, it's actually fun, really fun driving this car around. Handles pretty good. There's actually a challenge there that we're gonna end up doing. You sure did a great job clearing the cave. You should find my friend and offer to race him. He's a big fan. I'll race your buddy. Where's he at? I'm gonna grab this one while I see it. Guido at work sign. Find a friend to race. Hey, it's you. Not that the cave's ready. What do you say to a friendly race? I'm all about cave races. You may have heard. Alright, let's do it. What you got? You got nothing, kid. I never did this race before, that's for sure. Alright, two laps. Uh, it's a short race. So you can grind if you hold the left trigger while you're turning. And it takes a little while to get used to how to grind well, actually, but I've, got, I've gotten pretty good at it and messing around with these cars. I'm actually building a racetrack in the toy box of my own, and I've been doing a lot of racing on it to practice, to check it out, so. Is it over already? I didn't even break a sweat. All right, got the cave race, got some cash, and a new challenge popped up because of that sweet Upgrade your turbo to race at speeds you never thought possible no wonder why you ever drove so slow so race on over to the toy store now damn we get some turbo going nice 750 
Right, so we head to the toy store and we can buy some turbo. We can also buy a traffic truck, a traffic van, a towable wrecking ball, a ramp that we can tow to any location to help you get to new heights. Uh, but we'll probably have to need we'll probably need that to get some of those uh, unlockables. But we need to get the turbo first, that's for sure. If you want to race with the big guns, you must get a turbo upgrade. But you can't even buy one in the store. You see? It's so easy. I don't have it yet. Where's it at? Tiara? Nice. Yeah, they showed that one building. I was heading over there. Okay, so the helicopter flies it in. Every place that so far has been, you know, you get deliveries for your stuff. You have to go pick it up. The monsters one and the pirates one both have that. All right, turbo, nice. So we got two things of turbo. We got a new quest there. Where are we at? We're 20 minutes in. Let's see what the new Luigi quest. I believe it was Luigi. Let's see what he's got to say. Lightning! You must. Ah, yes. I must give to you a few helpful tips before you try the new race track. First, you must learn to drift. It is what all the truly famous race cars are doing now. Plus, with the Fillmore's new fuel, you will build your turbo power each time you do it. Come, let us practice. Bonjour, no lightning. Just lean into your turn and you will be drifting. Easy. There we go. And as you drift, you build your turbo up, as you see. And then you can flick our forward. To turbo. To race on the new track. Go and stretch out your tires. Uh, he's taking off. When you have enough energy stored up, activate the turbo for a boost of speed. Low on turbo? Doing tricks and drifting will solve that problem. Yeah, tricks will get you drift as well. So there's a lot of quests left here. We're going to uh, probably end here though and continue on in a little bit. We got a lot of stuff to do. Sorry, buddy. But you'll see here if I do a trick, I'll actually get drift. Like that. Two, a double trick gets you about a little under half, maybe half of one. I keep plowing these little cars over. Because there's a lot of quests to do and there's a lot of stuff to do right now. Some challenge missions as well. So we got a lot of stuff to work on. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you all in the next one. Take care.